Donald Wager Trusers. Welcome back to another vlog guys. I thought it'd be a light-hearted look today <laughs> with all that's going on around the world at the moment. We need a bit of a pick up, a bit of a laugh so to speak. So what I've done is I've, uh, I was thinking what uh, I could do to lighten the air up a little bit so what I've done is I have put together some Scottish sayings. Donald wears your trousers. I get a lot of uh, mail said to me that they don't understand a word I'm saying because it's Scots dialect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to do some Scottish sayings for you. I'm going to translate them for you into English. Do you like my tam o <laughs> I had it in a box in the room. It's uh, for one of my hat boxes. I've got. Christmas hats, I've got uh, Easter hats, uh, I've got fancy dress hats, blah blah blah. This was an that I had bought years back for a do, like my sideburns. I need to be trimming them down a little bit. <laughs> anyway, that's my Tam O'Shanter. This is a famous hat that a lot of Scots guys wore years and years back. Not exactly this kind of coloration or whatever, but it had something similar in a, in a type of bonnet. <laughs> oh well. Donald wears your trousers. Now guys, this Tam O'Shanter was worn many many years back. Not exactly this this uh, one or this or similar to this one, but this style of bonnet was worn by Scotsmen a long time ago, probably in the last century, about the 18th century or something like that, 19th, uh, late 19th century. Uh, but, you know what I mean, I thought I'd give it a little bit of an edge by wearing my Scotsman's Tam o Shanter. As you've probably gathered and you've probably seen a lot of Scotsmen and Scotswomen have ginger hair. They're famous for their Scots ginger hair, <laughs> hence the ginger hair and sideburns here. Need to be getting them trimmed shortly, as I said. Anyway, let's get on next. <laughs> right, guys, let's get down to business. The first saying that I'm going to say to you is: listen carefully, listen to the dialect. Never cast a clout and tall me as out. Never cast a clue till me is out. Never cast a clue till me is out. Here's the saying up here. And what that means is you never cast off any clothes till me is out. And that's never been a truer saying, I think so anyway. If you take it, April, May, April, May, June, April, April, May. I've seen a lot of nice sunshine in April and a lot of people out in their t-shirts remember and then the temperature drops etc etc. You've seen it you've seen it yourself. So that's what that me meaning says never cast your clothes until May's out. It's never been a true saying, you know what I mean? So just heed, heed that one. So what that saying is telling you is never take off any warm clothes until May is out uh, because you'll regret it. So always think of that saying, never cast a clout until May is out. Never take off clothes until May is out. That means don't go underdressed outside and before May. Our next saying guys is a Denny Ken. I didn't can. <laughs> this is all familiar to me. <laughs> Maybe not to you, but to me it's familiar. Simple. I didn't can means I do not know. I do not know. I didn't can. <laughs> We're all going a bit loopy at the moment. 
Donald Wager Trusers. Right guys, third one. Third time lucky. Hold your wrist. Hold your wrist. <laughs> Hold your wrist means be quiet. Simple. And just be quiet. Hold your wrist. Be quiet. <laughs> right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It certainly cheered me up. <laughs> I was a bit down until I started this vlog, so it's got a smile on my face and I'm laughing. So, if you'd like to see more, subscribe and put the, the thumbs up in the comments. But until next time, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to have a light out as Donald Wager Cruisers. <laughs> until next time, guys, I'll say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to get my sanity back now. <laughs> it's good, isn't it?